Is your weather seal no longer spanning the width of your garage door? Are you getting dirt and dust from under your garage door due to a bad weather seal? How about all these new little critters coming in from the cracks of that bad seal? Hey party people, Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and on this channel we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for all your residential garage door needs. And I'm coming at you with a sequel on a topic that we've covered before, bottom weather seals. But sometimes you just don't know which seal to get, especially if you have a Wayne Dalton door. So Wayne Dalton garage doors require a very specific bottom weather seal. This bottom master goal happens to be the exact part, or I should say the exact weather seal that will fit on most of the 8000 series and the 9100 series or the 9100-9605. Now it's important to understand that this seal of course has a specific groove and it's not like the T-channel groove that we've featured before on this channel. No, this is a little bit more like a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not necessarily T, it's almost like a bubble groove. It's like a little circular groove. And that's because the bottom retainer to the 8000 series garage door and the 9100-9605 have or has a specific channel shape. So if you're not careful and you buy a T-channel bottom weather seal, well, it's not gonna work for your garage door, especially if it's a Wayne Dalton model. You wanna go with the official Wayne Dalton bottom astragal, Wayne Dalton bottom weather seal to fit your specific garage door needs. So let's go ahead and take a look to how to change this bottom weather seal. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you consider subscribing because on a regular basis, we provide you with pro tips and tech reviews to help you with all your residential garage door needs. So the first thing you want to do before replacing the bottom weather seal is check if the ground is level. If you see cracks in the garage foundation, then it's more than likely that a new astragal, AKA bottom garage door seal won't work completely. There still might be a gap. So do your homework and be thorough before replacing the seal. After carefully taking off the old bottom weather seal, you wanna make sure that the bottom section is cleared from all dirt and debris. Like in my last video about getting the right bottom garage door seal, you should spray lubrication slightly into the channel of the bottom retainer. This will help facilitate the installation of the new weather seal. Now I know all of this looks familiar, but trust me party people, the installation of a bottom weather seal for a Wayne Dalton garage door is a lot more troublesome. I really don't understand why that's the case. I believe it's because they use a round or circular type astragal with a matching bottom retainer. For some reason that circular style is a more confined design and in my experience a bit harder to slide down through. Here's a pro tip for you. If you're having difficulty sliding the seal completely through the other side, use a flathead screwdriver to open up the retainer at its end. Then spray a little bit more lube to pull the seal through. I recommend an oil-based lubricant. Try not to use a lubricant that will leave a sticky film. Now Wayne Dalton does offer instructions on how to replace the seal along with the retainer. But I do not recommend that you try this at home. There are a number of variables that could go wrong. And you need a sufficient amount of skill in order to do the work while not causing harm to yourself or someone else. Now let's tighten this up. Once you have your seal through, cut off the excess portion, just enough so that you can tuck in the bottom seal within itself. Now, if you're having difficulty tucking in the seal, here's a pro tip. Use a blunt Allen driver or a nut driver to tuck in the seal. Don't use a flathead or Phillips screwdriver for fear that you might cut the seal within itself. That would cause a number of other problems and you'll have to replace the bottom seal all over again. 
Once you get your bottom weather seal installed, inspect your work and make sure your seal is not coming off from the retainer. You can use a hair dryer at a low heat to make the seal a bit more malleable. And these Wayne Dalton door seals are not that wide, so what you see is what you get. And that's the whole point about getting the right bottom garage door weather seal. If you're wanting to keep out dirt and debris along with all those small critters, then you have to determine what type of Wayne Dalton garage door you have. Once you know your door model, then you can have the confidence to install the seal. The Wayne Dalton Model 8000 will follow the same principles when applying the same seal, but the retainer is a bit wider and thus it's a bit easier to apply. How do you know which Wayne Dalton model door you have? Well, the Model 8000 comes in a non-insulated and vinyl back insulated configuration. The Wayne Dalton Model 9100 is a polyurethane foam compacted insulated door and the 9605 is a steel back insulated door version of that. These doors are slim in design, moderate in their R value, and fairly well built. So the ability to replace the bottom weather seal is a plus when adding longevity to the use of this garage door. That's going to be it for this one, party people. Hopefully you found value in this video. If so, please hit like, subscribe, and tap that notification button to get more videos on pro tips and tech reviews for all your residential garage door needs. In fact, if you don't have a Wayne Dalton garage door, then you can watch part one of Get the Right Bottom Garage Door Seal here with this link. Thanks again for watching. Y'all stay safe.